Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is the evolution of dinosaurs into birds. So the first thing I'm going to do is put two fingers over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line up, curve line up, little curve line in, straight diagonal out off the page. Come back to our first dot little curve line in, straight line up, straight line down, curve line over, curve line up, and stop. Right where I stop I'm just going to put a little curve line down and then come up a little bit and let's just put another little curve line down off the page. I come inside right about here and I draw a slightly curved line down, zigzag, zigzag up, connect. Right behind it I'm going to draw it again, slightly curved line down, zigzag, zigzag, if you have room, connect. Okay? I come back up here and I'm just going to put zigzag, zig, and maybe some zigzag, zigzag, zig. I'm going to put a baby circle and a little bit baby circle on the top with a dot inside. Okay? Now, there's going to be a lot of overlaps and a lot of floating lines. So don't get squirreled out. Alright, starting right here at the top, I'm going to draw slightly curved line up, curved line over, Curve line down, curve line in, connect. Right here at this point, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line out, curve line up, in, down, in, slightly curve line over, connect. Right behind it, I'm going to draw it again. Slightly curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Okay? Right here at this point, I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line down and then I'm going to put little straight lines all the way across. I come up and I put one baby circle and another baby circle and then right here I put one bigger baby circle with a dot. Okay? Now, this is one of these overlaps. I'm going to jump over this first guy and right about here I can kind of see how that would continue and I'm just going to draw a curved line off the page and I kind of look at this one and maybe I can put a little curved line down off the page. Come back to the top right here and we're going to draw curve line out, in, out, in, down, up, down, up, jump over, little curve line in, out, in, out, off the page. Okay, so this is our first overlap. Now I come up above here and let's put three fingers, so we kind of end up in the same place, and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a little curve line in, curve line out. Okay, come back to the dot, little curve line up, curve line down, curve line out, off the page. Okay, come back over here to the bottom part of this, we're going to draw a curve line in, little curve line down, little curve line, bam, I crash into that, don't draw through your drawing, jump over, little curve line up, Curve line down, up, down, up, off the page. Okay. Right about here, I'm just going to draw one, two little curve lines. And next to it, I'm going to draw a curve line out, down, out, down, out. Curve line up, 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 jump over, and connect. Okay. 
Now, I come over here to this little indentation and watch what I do. I draw a big curved line out, in, out, in, in, connect. Don't draw through your drawing. Okay. Now this one has one dot, two dots. Let's draw a baby circle with a dot inside. Now we're going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Little zigzags off the page. Now, and this is kind of tricky, but watch what I do. I come down below and I'm going to do another overlap. This time I draw a slightly curved line down. Zigzag, 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 zigzag up. And if you can, continue it a little bit if you can. See, mine's a little too squished. I should have left it alone. But draw me a curved line and a curved line. Okay? So you got one, two, three. And now over here, let's put two fingers and a dot. Okay, and from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line out, curve line in, curve line down, stop, come back to our dot, draw a curve line over, curve line up, one, two, three curve lines in, one, two, three curve lines down, one, two, three curve lines up. Come all the way over here, and we're just going to draw a straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Okay? Come over here, draw a curve line inside, put a dot, put a dot right here. Come down to this section and just draw a curve line, curve line. Now, we're going to put one, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines up here one two three straight lines okay all right let's see how we're going to color this in okay one way of connecting something is to do it through color so i'm going to use the same colors on all of my or parts of all of my dinosaurs so the first color i'm using is orange so I come in and I do my first guy orange. And part of that is so that I can see him against all the others. Then, once I've done him orange, I come in with a brown. And I'm going to do his nose, his eyeball, and I'm just going to put some up, down, up, down patches of brown on his body. Okay? Then I come to my next one. And on this one, I'm going to use blue-green. And again, the reason why is you want to use a contrasting color because these dinosaurs are all overlapping each other. This also begins the transformation from dinosaur to beard. Beard. Sorry, bird. <laughs> so I'm going to take my blue-green and bring it all the way down so that he stands out from the other dinosaur. Okay, but now I'm going to connect him to the first one with orange because that's going to be my connecting color throughout. And to give that first inkling of feathers, I'm going to do this section green. Now, if you jumped over, this section down here should be green also. Okay, all right, next one. This guy up here. I'm going to do him all orange first. Get that big blocks of color. And I'm just going to bring it down to about there. Bring it up a little bit because now I'm going to use my brown. These are my connecting colors. And I'm going to do this part brown. Okay. Jump over. And I'm going to do this part brown. So again, you can see him contrasting against the other dinosaur okay I come down and these are supposed to be legs but you can't see them all so I'm going to do this one orange and this one orange but this feather tail I want to connect it to this feather 
tail or top notch I should say so I'm going to use green see so everything is going to be a color that connects with the uh, dinosaur that goes ahead goes before now I'm going to come up and do his eyeball green and these little zigzags green okay now we finally come to our bird and he's going to have orange for his beak these are his feet and I'm just going to put a little bit of brown on the edge of his wings, tummy, a little bit down here on his tail. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. I'm not going to do a big old brown bird. I'm just going to put a little bit of color. Okay, so there they are. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my evolution of dinosaurs to bird. And um, thank you, Mr. Kurtz, for this great request. Hi to all the kids. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>